Below us is the pretty market town of Hebden Bridge in West Yorkshire. We're going to take a walk around town, share some history and enjoy a walk by the beautiful canal. So do stay with us. Hebden Bridge is eight miles west of Halifax in the steep upper Calder Valley of West Yorkshire. You can get here in half an hour by train from Manchester or just over an hour from Leeds. We deliberately parked just outside of town in the Station Road car park so we can start our walk along the towpath of the River Calder and the beautiful Rochdale Canal that runs right through the town. The canal starts in Manchester and runs to Sowerby Bridge just outside Halifax. It's 32 miles of beautiful scenery and 91 locks to navigate. A walk along this historic canal is a great way to start your time in Hebden Bridge. The canal opened in 1804, one of three Trans-Pennine canals. It was an extremely important transport route for the town during the Industrial Revolution. Having links to Manchester and Halifax helped the town flourish. Coal, agricultural produce and materials for the textiles industry all passed through here. The fast-moving waters that run down from the moors made it a prime spot for water-powered weaving mills, many of which you can still see today although they have been converted into studios and housing. The local area is a treat to explore and as the Rochdale Canal runs right through the town it's possible to take a canal cruise. It's about one and a half hours long and a perfect way to learn about the history of the town and the surroundings. The canal remained an important transport link right up until World War II. After this traditional trades were in decline and road transport took over the movement of goods. And by the early 1950s the canal closed and fell into disrepair. In the 1970s work started to restore the canal, but it took decades to achieve and the full through route from Manchester to Sowerby Bridge was not completely open again until 2002. We've arrived at one of the 91 locks on the canal. It's not much action today, but it's a lovely spot to stop and listen to the water pouring through the gaps in the wooden gates, controlling the flow of the water along the canal.
We need to cross the canal at this point to be on the right side to access the town a little later. Hebden water flows from up in the moors and converges with the river Calder at this point. Walking along the semi-cobbled towpath, you see some lovely homes and tiny streets that link up to the canal. I bet these are old weavers' cottages. This is as far as we will walk on the canal. You could of course head all the way to Manchester, but if you continue a little further on towards Todd Morden, you could admire more colourful barges and have a pint outside the Stubbing Wolf pub. We'll cross over another bridge and head towards the centre. You will soon realise that there are many bridges crisscrossing the town, but it gets its name from one particular cute bridge that we'll see soon. Most of the buildings we will see around town were built at the end of the 19th century, at the height of its success. It was even nicknamed Trouser Town because of the large amount of clothing manufactured here. Heading in the direction of the town centre along the busy A646 that connects to Burnley or Halifax, you soon realise that there are no chain stores here. The town prides itself on the cute independent shops, so if you're looking for something a little bit different then this is the place to come. There is a lively and diverse community here, something that has developed over the last 50 years or so. It is one of the most desirable places to live in Yorkshire. The original settlement is above Hebden, up in the valley in the village of Heptonstall. This area at the bottom was a floodplain, and not much was here 700 years ago. A wooden medieval bridge crossed the Hebden water so that goods on pack horse routes could cross the river on their way to Burnley or Halifax. In around 1510 it was improved into a stone bridge that we can see today, and this is where Hebden Bridge gets its name. Bridge Gate that we're walking along now has a lovely mix of shops, cafes and a pub to enjoy. Market day is Thursday through Sunday. Thursdays is fresh produce and general retail, Friday second hand, Saturday arts and craft and artisan products and Sundays back to local produce again. We are here on a Tuesday, so there's not much going on today. The area we are walking through now would at one time have been warehouses and offices used in the textile trade.
Ebden Bridge Mill, no longer a working cloth mill, has stood here for 600 years. It's grown in size over the centuries, and what we see today is now a shopping arcade. Our time in Hebden Bridge was short, but well worth the visit. Join us again next week.